Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to start off our series on WeConnect. Uh, so in this video we're going to talk about uh, what WeConnect is, uh, what your Volkswagen ID is, um, and how we actually uh, create those as well. And then in the next video we'll actually show you how that incorporates actually into the vehicle. Uh, so at that point then obviously we can get into a vehicle and show you how you actually connect uh, the vehicle to your, uh, to your ID and the WeConnect and what you get with the WeConnect as well. Uh, so in today's video I'm going to talk to you about what is WeConnect, uh, we're going to talk about how you create a Volkswagen ID, so we'll show you the different ways uh, in which you can do that and how that integrates into the, into the system and what you actually get with WeConnect, so what will it actually allow you to do. Uh, so this video is going to be, be talking to you, uh, showing you bits on the computer etc and on your phone uh, and we'll get all that good stuff done first and then in our next video we'll show you how that actually incorporates into the vehicle. So WeConnect is Volkswagen's digital platform uh, and this is what allows you to connect to your vehicle so it takes it from a, uh, a computer or an app uh, and then that app can connect to your vehicle uh, and obviously information can get shared between you and your vehicle but also as well that information is also being shared between Volkswagen. Uh, now most vehicles now most modern vehicles that we produce uh, all have an onboard SIM card in them uh, and they're giving data is being transferred obviously to Volkswagen so that uh, problems with the vehicle etc and things like that they're communicating with it anyway uh, but the idea of the Wii Connect system uh, that's in there as well is that it connects it to you as a driver and that allows in some instances for Volkswagen to get a better understanding of how your vehicle is being used. Uh, so this kind of works in both ways and the easiest company I can use uh, to kind of give you a sense of, of how it is works is Apple. Uh, so everybody knows Apple, uh, whether you have Apple devices or not, you've heard of the company, you know what they're about. Um, they're they're full, uh, uh, leaders in, uh, in this type of digital age um, and with them themselves as well as all their devices all work uh, independently. Uh, so if you've got an iPhone, which I've got that's on here, or you've got a Mac book I'm using Windows today but I've got a MacBook at home any of those things it's always communicating with Apple so any problems that you have with that particular device Apple probably know about it they're working on new solutions and better ways to upgrade um, the, their vehicles and things like that that come, comes from there and with Volkswagen and with cars and not just Volkswagen other manufacturers as well it is no different to how, how they do it and we'd say that maybe maybe uh, the vehicle manufacturers are just slightly behind everybody else uh, as far as integrating these and actually getting you as the, the individual the user connected to what you're actually using so whether that be a, a computer a phone or in our case a vehicle um, so that's what we connect is all about uh, it derives from one very simple thing uh, and that's a Volkswagen ID um, so again using the Apple uh, variation on here you have an Apple uh, ID which is um, uh, what how you signify you log into everything with it that's your your one there uh, and again no different from Volkswagen so you have a Volkswagen ID uh, that then is, is you that's your as a user uh, we're going to show you how you how you create those it's, it's very very easy to do once you've got that Volkswagen ID uh, at that point then you can use that for your uh, we connect system so you can connect it to the car and whenever you change your car your, your ID stays with you so whenever you change your car or move into a different car for example your ID is the same it's just the product which you have as in the vehicle you have is what's actually changing but your ID stays the same and that that is probably the, the, the crux of the matter so if you've got multiple cars in your household for example uh, and your Volkswagen ID would work on both then you can have both of them connected to your uh, your app as well to start all this process off the first and most important thing you need is a Volkswagen ID uh, it's very simple, you download the app, which we'll show you in a second, uh, or alternatively you can do it via the website, which again we'll, we'll, we'll show on there, and you create an account. So we're going to create an account today uh, for the garage here to show you the process of how easy it is uh, for you actually to do that. And that's the first step of actually getting to this program, getting it all connected. Uh, so let's get into it first. So as I said, you've got two different variations. Um, <clears throat> if you've got an Apple product or you've got an Android product, anything like that, you'll have an app store of one description or another. Uh, in you there if you just search for we connect so you just click for the app clip it to download it to your phone uh, and obviously then you've got it on your phone you open the app and it'll say welcome to we connect and it'll ask you to log in <laughs> at that point there if you've already got an account set up you might already be like uh, I have for example mine's already there my accounts or one of my accounts that's in there as well uh, but then at the very bottom there's a big plus button uh, and that's for to create an account so if you haven't already got one there'll be one there and you just press the button the plus button and this is then going to take you to the next screen 
which is your Volkswagen uh, ID and it says welcome and it asks you for an email address so you just type in your email address uh, and you need to put a password in there so just create a password and then hit the create button it asks you to accept the terms and conditions and at this point then you're going to get an email so an email is going to be sent to whichever email address you've, you've sent it to so it will send you two emails one email with the terms and conditions and the other email which is the important one is to verify your email address uh, and there's a link below so you just click on the link and it'll tell you that your email has been verified at which point on your app you just return to login and then just carry on from on there so you'll have your email address already self-populated click next on the app you'll have allow access uh, which you've got lots of information in there like your address details etc and things like that at this point in time now um, you won't actually have any of those in but if you go to the bottom and it says allow so you just allow the data and it'll ask you to complete your profile so select a country uh, language select that and then are you putting in your personal details now that's in here so name surname uh, date of birth is on there uh, date of birth is is non-compulsory so you don't need to put that uh, that's in there you can put a nickname if you want and then it's going to ask you for a security pin so again just put this is a four digit number you can use whatever you like just obviously something you can remember and once that's all done there as well then you'll be into your main login stream so it's going to say welcome uh, now on here it says welcome Cali Chris because that's what I've put down as a, as a nickname for me that's in here and underneath there it says add vehicles um, so in there that's where you would click then to go and add a particular vehicle uh, this is one for our UK viewers uh, what I would do is go to accounts and then settings and if you scroll right to the bottom it's got advanced settings and it's got units that's on there uh, and I would just click on there and change it to the distance and consumption to miles or MI and then MPG uh, and that will just change it from the standard setup uh, that's on there as well and then that'll give you all your data then your miles and miles per gallon rather than kilometers uh, um, differences in there so obviously if you're in Europe for example that's there uh, you'd probably want that the other way around uh, so that's how you set it up using the app uh, now obviously as I said you can do this directly via the website you don't actually need to have a, uh, a phone to actually get these services to actually work if you don't have it on there you don't have a phone that takes apps for example you can set an ID up via the website uh, and then you can actually connect that to the vehicle as well uh, rather than actually doing it uh, doing it through the app to get most of the functionality though it's better to use the app uh, that is definitely the, uh, the the way forward and that's what I would advise 99.9% .9 of you out there uh, to do but I said there is an alternative okay so you've got your Volkswagen ID uh, you've downloaded we connect you're all ready to uh, test it with the vehicle which is going to be in the next video but you have to ask yourself why are you doing this uh, what do you actually get what does it actually do uh, so we're just going to talk you through what the we connect platform is actually about so obviously it will depend on what vehicle you've got um, and that will give you different functions and different things that you can go to uh, as well for the future for example with electric vehicles uh, this is even more important because there's lots of information uh, that you can get that you use the we connect uh, thing for as well for example with electric vehicles so with our electric vehicles commercial ones that are coming out soon uh, if you've already got an id range within the volkswagen uh, passenger car variations that's on there as well that'll tell you things like how much you've got charge time left so within the volkswagen commercial range uh, you've got we connect basic uh, which basically gives you that access to the emergency call system which we've done a video on breakdown call uh, servicing scheduling is on there for example parking position where your car your vehicle is actually parked uh, a health report for the vehicle uh, driving data um, so your miles per gallon figures and things like that you can see those directly uh, through the app uh, your vehicle status uh, doors and lights etc there is as well uh, so they're all the standard vehicles now uh, you can then also also get we connect plus within the we connect plus system uh, you've got things like lock and unlock vehicles uh, anti um, online anti-theft alarm system horns and turn circles uh, area alert speed alert voice controls uh, now obviously a lot of these things are dependent on the vehicle and this we connect is for cars and for vans for commercial vehicles so because uh, it's, it's nice we think to do it for, for, for all of us so that it's uh, whether you, whichever vehicle you've got so these things will depend on what vehicle you've got and also as well within the we connect series as well is what level you get as standard with the vehicle when it's new uh, also depends as well that's in there so uh, we also have 
uh, we connect plus with internet streaming as well and that gives you media streaming internet radio um, and uh, there's you can even add data plans on there as well uh, so that you can get data that's incorporated uh, using the sim card that's actually in the in the vehicle as well to get things like streaming services without having to pair your phone up for example so all vehicles come with the basic we connect system uh, and then obviously if you've got the navigation system for example you get three years uh, that's added there as the plus side of things i think the important thing is it's the basic that you get all the time because that's the information which really is what you actually need or what I think is the important thing so your, your miles per gallon figures that are on there for example where's my vehicle uh, so to summarize today's video we talked about what is we connect so it's it, as I said just to recap it's how it connects you as the user of the vehicle to the actual vehicle and then that's all under the umbrella of Volkswagen so that it's there uh, we've shown you how to create your ID either it being through the app or through the actual website that's there as well uh, and then in the next video we're going to show you how you actually connect that to the vehicle uh, so we'll take you through the process of actually putting it in and logging it into the vehicle and then we can show you some of the data as well the kind of things that you would get uh, from that as well so i hope you found today's video useful uh, if you've got any comments or queries or anything like that pop it in the comments box below uh, and then obviously we can revisit uh, this if we need to as well and add any points in that's in there uh, share your experiences if you've used we connect uh, what have you thought was good what what don't you like about it as well it's always nice to get that kind of feedback and then we can pass that back on uh, to Volkswagen as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe and we'll see you again next time.